Hello and welcome back to Action Film Institute. I'm your host, Robert Barnwell. During the last episode, I shared with uh, many of you my own prop weapons as well as some of the thoughts and suggestions around how you can choose and buy your own prop weapons. During today's episode, we'll talk about the basic combat handgun techniques. First, I want to talk about grips. The initial grip is the one-handed grip, and so basically you take the three fingers of your dominant hand, and I think in most cases, most viewers are going to be right-handed as well as most of your actors. So you'll have your three fingers wrapped around the grip, and you'll have your index finger pointed along the slide, such as we have here. And then your thumb will rest naturally along the opposite side. Now, this is how most grips begin, is with a one-handed grip. Some people prefer the one-handed grip. I don't think that you have as much control with the one-handed grip. Um, if your character is reacting quickly, they may not have an opportunity to take a full two-handed grip, in which case this would be the correct grip. Now, for law enforcement and some military um, applications, they'll practice what's called the fist grip. So they'll take the hand and they'll wrap it around here. The thumb will be pointed forward along the barrel. This is your left thumb. And your right thumb will be crossed along the top. All of these facing the target. This is the way I would say that 90% of law enforcement and military are now using their current combat grips. Some will actually interweave, and this is the weaver grip, their two thumbs. Now the way that I was taught and I learned how to fire was called the palm grip. So we have the right-handed grip and yet you use the palm of your left hand to come underneath. Now the palm grip you control, basically you control your horizontal movement of the weapon with your right hand. So, and then with the palm grip you control the vertical with the palm grip. I actually like this grip, it was the one that I was trained for. I think that with this grip, at least as far as I'm concerned, I feel like I get a much more accurate shot. Now, I think the argument against this is, for law enforcement, is if you go with the first grip, where you have the, um, the fist grip, and you're holding it like this, you, once you fire your time back on target, I believe is much faster. Um, again, any of these three grips, or, or four if you consider the inner weaver grip, is going to work out perfectly fine. Now, the key to a good grip, though, is to consider who is the individual character that's holding the weapon. Let's say that you've got a gang member. One of the more popular grips for the gang member is this grip and this uh, handhold. This is never recommended because not only because of accuracy, but because the round when it ejects and it comes out the port has a tendency to get jammed. Um, but again, you have to think, who is my character? If the character is uneducated about weapons, then it stands to reason that their technique is also going to be uneducated. So uh, again, it should really be character driven. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the correct technique once again, if you've got a character that more than likely has not had proper weapons training. Now the next thing is loading the weapon. Now, if the character has had actual law enforcement or government training, this is going to be the standard form of the weapon when it's being loaded. So you've got no magazine and the slide is locked in its back position. So then the slide is jammed up into the hand grip and then it's released. Some people will go ahead and they'll load the magazine first and then they'll rack the slide back and they'll load it. Um, for a variety of reasons, law enforcement and military do not recommend that. So again, it's character driven. Who is your character? What type of training would they have? Dictates how they're going to load and unload their weapons. In the meantime, check out all the free articles, reviews, and videos that will soon be available at actionfilminstitute.com. Also, if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see us cover, or you'd like to let us know how we're doing, just leave us some YouTube feedback. Finally, we'd like to invite you to take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.